Hello, hello, good people, my good viewers, my good farmers. I hope you're well. This is your farmer, okay, farmer. I'm here to just remind ourselves to share some knowledge on agriculture. Two basic things, the arts and the science of agriculture. When defining agriculture, we say agriculture is the art and the science of animal and crop production. Two things that farmers will forget in. The art and the science of agriculture. These are the two basic things that when you combine the art, when you combine the science, that becomes the agribusiness that will help you earn money out of the inputs or out of the investment that you have done in that agriculture. The farmers, we are forgetting that the art of crop production is very important. You have to be in the ground, you have to make your bed, you have to till your land, you have to prepare your land, you have to put manure, you have to put, yeah, those concepts, yeah. The science is the things, the knowledge like the fertilizer use, you have to know it, what is in that fertilizer that is using, the basic fertilizer, maybe the nitrogen, the potassium, the phosphorus that is needed in that specific crop that you're using. Science also involves the chemicals that you're using, the technology that you're using in your farm. Have you done your homework or have you done your research on that? You have to adapt the science that is uh, keep changing with time because in farming things evolve very fast. For example, of late we have known that tuta absoluta is disturbing the tomatoes farmers. There are new ways to take care of these pests that maybe two, three years back it was not being used, but now there are science that is, is being used to cure or to eradicate that pest. So dear farmers, for you to say that I'm now in agribusiness, I'm now making money out of my that effort that you do in the soil. Remember, always remember that you have to incorporate the science. You have to incorporate the art. And it has to be very specific because success is in the details. Yeah. For example, farmers in our country, they are yielding less per unit area or per acre because they are forgetting very key basic things like spacing. For example, in onion, numbers talk in agriculture. Your yield per unit area is what we translate to that coin, that extra coin that will break even and give you your profit. So farmers, make sure that you are keeping into check to these principles make sure that you are making uh, your art, you are mixing your art, your science, so that per unit area, if they say onions, you're supposed to do 25 tons per acre, do your research. What is it that is needed to get the 25 ton? How is the spacing? What is the variety? What is the chemicals to use? What are the watering regimes to do? For you to get that 25 tons <coughs> for example in cabbage sorry if they say i'm supposed to do uh 12,000 heads per acre make sure you hit that 12,000 acres because when you have the yield it doesn't matter the market price because yield will help you break even and two you make that extra coin that is says the profit. So guys, thank you very much. Keep subscribing to my YouTube channel. I had to remind you that subscribe, share, <coughs> ask question on the things that you don't understand. We are here to help each other as farmers. We make sure that our productivity in the ground translate to the coin in your profit. I just say success is in the details. Cheers.